Today, we're gonna to look at camera sensor size and how it affects your photos. You're in for a good one today. Let's go. What's going on everybody? Phil with Photo Gear Fun here. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about sensor size and how that affects your photographs. And you might hear about full frame sensors or micro four thirds sensors or big sensors or small sensors. We'll talk about how that affects your picture size. We'll start by defining what a sensor is. A sensor has photosensitive red, green, and blue dots that combine into what they call a pixel. And when light is exposed to that sensor, it electronically captures that and creates an image. Now, what is noise? We don't talk about noise throughout this entire episode. Noise is really just something in your image that makes it look grainy or kind of black or gray splotches. You'll see that as we go through the, but you'll hear about noise or digital noise. And it's something that is not necessarily thought of as a positive. And we'll see how sensor size affects the noise overall in your camera. And we have five cameras today. We're going to show you five different sets of photos. You'll see the sensor sizes. You'll see a little bit more information about that. And, and from a sensor size perspective, we're going to range from a half inch sensor all the way up to what they call a full frame sensor, which is a large sensor. And here's a, a chart that shows you the basic sensor size. And we're going to start with that half inch one, which is the smallest in the cameras that we have here today. And then we'll work our way all the way up to full frame. So I took a series of photographs. We'll show you those photographs. We'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more about how the sensor size affects your photographs. Welcome to my digital darkroom. What I wanted to do is show you two different shots from each of the cameras, one at its lowest ISO or sensitivity to light, and then one at ISO 800. So you'll be able to see how sensor size affects the noise or the grain in your pictures. And then we'll compare the smallest sensor to the largest sensor at ISO 800, and you'll definitely see the difference. So what we have here are two pictures, one at ISO 100 and one at ISO 800 from the Panasonic ZS70, which is the smallest sensor. It's a half inch sensor. So what we'll do is we'll zoom in and we'll check out the noise. You can see at 50%, you can see that, that grain or those kind of gray or black splotches, which is called noise. And, and there's no noise reduction done to these pictures. So you can see on the left hand side, it looks really clean, especially in the white area. You can see that there's really no splotches or blotchiness on it. And here you can see that kind of the grain or the noise. And that is again at a half inch sensor. The next camera we used was the Canon G7X, which is a one inch sensor, roughly half the size of the sensor of the Panasonic. And at 50%, you can see some noise on the right hand side. The base ISO for this one is 125 on the left and then 800 here on the right. We'll zoom in on this one and you can see again on the right hand side that there's that noise or grain although it's a little bit less pronounced than it is on the smaller sensor this is a micro four thirds sensor which again is larger than the previous sensor so you should see that the noise is going to be less and at 50 percent you can see again that there's a little bit of noise here but it's definitely less than the previous two examples so we'll zoom into 100 percent on this one and at 100%, again, you can see, especially in the white area, you can see some of that noise or grain. It's really not that bad. So the Micro Four Thirds is the largest sensor that we've seen so far. We'll move up to the Fuji X-T20, which is what they call an APS-C size sensor, which is the largest sensor we've seen so far, larger than Micro Four Thirds, the one inch and the half inch sensor. At 50%, it's, the grain is there, but it's not that noticeable. The base ISO for the Fuji is 200, and then this is ISO 800. Let's zoom into 100% on these. Now at 100%, you can see, again, there is some grain there, but it's really not all that bad. In fact, I, I use this camera quite a bit when I'm, when I'm out and about, and I, I think it's a great compromise between size of camera and the noise that's produced. And next, we're gonna look at a full frame sensor, which is the Sony A7 Mach 3, and this is the largest sensor of all the cameras that we're going to test. So in theory, you should see less noise. And if you look on the left, this is ISO 100, which is the base. On the right is ISO 800. And I assure you, these are different pictures. This is 100 and 800, although they look nearly identical as far as noise goes. Let's zoom into 100% on these. And even at 100%, I really can't see any difference between the two. 
this is quite a good performance and this is a full frame sensor and that's why a lot of people talk about full frame sensors and why you might want to get a full frame sensor it definitely produces less noise than the smaller sensors what i want to do now is show you the smallest sensor at iso 800 versus the largest sensor at iso 800 and even in the small mode you can see the difference We'll zoom in here a little bit to 50%, and you can see on the left is a smaller sensor. That's that Panasonic camera. And on the right is the Sony a7 III. We'll zoom into 100% on these. And now you can really see that grain. So it's very, very pronounced on the left. And on the right, you really can't notice it at all. That's just an idea on how sensor size affects your picture or your image quality. There are other things that sensor size affects like depth of field and we'll dive into a depth of field episode here in another Camera Basics. I just wanted to show you these pictures to give you an idea on how the sensor size does affect your picture. So those are the photos. We'll talk about video in another episode. Video is slightly different as far as noise go because the picture is always moving. You don't really notice noise as much and we'll talk about video and sensor size and noise in another episode. We'll also talk a little bit more about depth of field, which is something else that your sensor size will affect. We'll talk about that in another episode. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this episode. If you liked it, please consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, click on that bell icon. Also, give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. If not, give me a thumbs down. That's fine too. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment and share this if you like it. We will see you again in the next video.